A developer works in the land of the cloud, where they do what they can to bring code to the town. They set out to create, well, just like you and me. Good code, safe code, nice code to keep clients happy. They have their favorite language that they would like to use, but their app domain's different, so they don't get to choose. It's OK, the dev thought. I'll just use what I've got. They code on their laptop. It works on their machine. But they can't deploy well, because not all checks are green. Between dev, QA, prod, there's too much different. They accept that it's flawed and are mostly content. What really makes life hard is when hackers attack and turn nice, good, safe code into code full of cracks. All of the permissions the dev gave to their app also get given to a CVE, gift wrapped. At the end of the day, the cloud native dev sits, thinking of better ways or if they should just quit. Just then, behind a cloud, a small purple figure begins poking around. Hello there, little dev. What's got you so down? I heard the cloud is great, and I'm new in town. Wait, who are you? Well, I'm WebAssembly. What are you doing here? Aren't you out of your league? Well, I heard all your cries from trying to ship code. It sounds so very hard for progress to feel slowed. You see, I'm from the web and made of assembly. But if you take a look, I'm as simple as can be. I came from a wide sea. Well, a sea full of sea, where there's all native code that we'd all love to see. Take all this hard labor, put it in the browser, without a full rewrite to make our web stronger. Think of all the things that you could bring with C, games, editors, world maps, all in WebAssembly. So that's great and all, but I really can't see why in the world do I need WebAssembly. On the web, there's no kernel and no files either, so with my instructions must come system features. I've got to be so small to load on a web page, because if it's just too slow, people will leave outraged. Browsers can't give out keys to access the host vault. All capabilities are denied by default. So I can understand what you're now telling me, but I still don't know why I need WebAssembly. Well, you see there, dear dev, about WebAssembly, it can really help with all those problems you see. It can do so much more, but we'll come back to that. Let's take a look at your issues and see what we can crack. You say you like to code in a language you choose, then compile to me. You've got nothing to lose. No matter the language, your preference wins the game. No matter the target, Wasm works all the same. I can run in the web, and that was no small feat. And if I can run there, no OS has me beat. Wasm runs anywhere, without a fear or a care. It compiles so small and starts up like a hare. But Wasm, can you help? I can't catch all the bugs. Sometimes they crush my day with insecure death hugs. With the sandbox, we're safe. Come over here, no fear. Bad actors stay locked up so you don't shed a tear. Yes, if you code to me, your language matters not. I'm secure by default. Overflows, there are not. And even better still is if you take the leap, I can run anywhere, fast, and oh, so cheap. Build your app, just an app, not for where it goes. You choose what's best for where it runs or shows. For your serverless functions on a server out there, you can run local tests, which feels much, much more fair. For plugins or filters, simple or more complex, running beside the data creates the best effects. And why should CDNs get to have all the fun? Run server-side logic right next to everyone. Take your app to the edge, take your app to the cloud, take your app to a tab, everywhere, all around. When you build with Wasm, possibilities grow. Where the server goes now, I think nobody knows. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>